Hey guys, this is Umbrella here, giving you my review of Boruto 818. I was gonna say almost like 800 or something, but Boruto 818, the day in the life of the Uzumaki family. And this is a pretty unique episode in a way because it showcased like the retelling of the day when Naruto became Hokage. In terms, but they switched out some scenes. Like there was a scene where Naruto was going out with his friends with a. Kiba, Shino, Sai, Shikamaru, Choji, and Lee. Do you ever dream of this fact they know the fact that Naruto's become Hokage? I was thinking that after the that was actually was a credit scene after the initial ceremony was over. I thought that was like a ceremony and they were going out drinking after Naruto became Hokage, but no, they said to do it before you was in the celebration that he was to be he was going to become Hokage. Just like hey you did like a like basically for a bachelor party when Naruto was supposed to get married. Seeing all the different tones, like basically Lee and Ki, no, actually Lee and Shina were the ones who were not too drunk, or at least wasn't like drunk enough. There, there were two sober ones, including Sai. While Choji and Kiba and Shikamaru were basically had like plain flush, like they were completely, they, they were drunk, but they were not like too drunk. Well, like Naruto, he was completely like he was wasted out of his mind. That was like a nice little touch. It was basically a nice way of seeing the fact that Naruto was like can't handle his alcohol too much. There's also this whole scene where Boruto is basically waiting up because he was becoming later than usual. He's coming home later than usual. He was going out with his friends and celebrated that he's going to come home the next day. Because we get the nervous with a scene where Bor Himawari is bringing up Naruto who was basically knocked out. Then Boruto comes in, wakes him up, like the way he did in the special. So basically it was like it did follow the same pattern as the way that the original short did. The only thing that was strict, but to make sure it's for a 20, say a 25 episode length, there was some, they had to stretch out some scenes, they had to like, explain more. <coughs> like they added, it was basically, there was a small part of the episode, the episode when he was sick. Boruto was taking care of her while told, Dad until Naruto comes in. He heard that his daughter was sick and he had like Shigamaru and a shadow clone covering for him while he's, while the real him, is up there f taking care of his sick young daughter. That was really nice of Naruto to see that from Naruto. Also, the fact that during the whole day when Naruto became whole, the day when Naruto became Hokage, this was told in a flashback from Boruto's mind of what happened, especially the scene in the yep, moments where Himawar triggered, activated her Byakugan after being devastated from losing her stuffed bear. It even did the whole locked on moment. When she had her back on, when she knocked Bor Borto to against the wall, gentle fist to Naruto in the mid in the right in the track front, even even Kuma Kurama noticed it. It was like, that was really, really nice, to, funny to see that again. Again, then just the background colors like more the background behind Kurama was like more colored, so it was just like a blank <coughs> black background. There was also, but after that, that was like the first half of the episode. The second half was basically. Naruto and Boruto going to Ichiraku Ramen, which basically now opened a more bigger store. Since Naruto patronized the whole child money from up to like after the fourth Ninja War. Nice to see the daughter come back. I forgot her name. I really do forgot her name because you really see her. She's barely in, in the screen ring at the time except for Ichiraku himself. He's not there anymore apparently. He think he's retired from cooking for a bit since of course he's been gotten old. Excuse me again. And I get to see uh, everyone pretty basically it's a basically it's a traditional standard fill episode before we leads into the next episode, which is actually the beginning, which I believe is gonna be the beginning of the Naruto Gaiden Sai story arc. The next episode is called Tao Serata Uchiha or Uchiha Serata, and way how Japanese says like they say the last name first and then the first name. Then me but on the on first name basis, you say the first name. So the next episode is going to be the beginning of the Naruto guidance story where Sarai goes on a journey to find, or at least tries to know more about his, uh, her dad. And also the confusion, the fact that there was just a confusion during the time of the manga we found out that Sarada's glasses look similar to Karin's, but thinking about that, Sarada is the mother, is the daughter to Karin, but not to Sakura. First whole time when he's dying with the manga until it's all resolved in the until it's all resolved at the end of the manga. But I feel that the next episode is gonna be the side story we're gonna get into the new arc. 
we already know what happens in the manga, but seeing how all the trans or seeing how it's gonna get animated, it's gonna see some of the, the voice actor, the voice actors returning for the for former group of the heavy, or the Taka as they're formerly known, and also also two voice actors for at least for the villains of that story, fallen members of the Uchi some strange cult or fallen members of the Uchiha clan or something like that, since they all have the charting on. So it's like we're gonna step away from Borto and the main Salmo cast. We're gonna focus with mostly Serata and everyone else who's involved in that story. And for all of the story, it's basically Serata, Chojo, well, little Chojo in that matter. It was mostly Serata and her family was Sakura. And Sasuke is gonna come back, so we're gonna see Sasuke again. Which, in your hand, kind of split reacts between those how you feel about Sasuke as a character. But back to the episode, it was just basically your traditional, your standard filler, so nothing really like too deep after like, again, we just came from three episodes worth of filler after the whole ghost arc incident, after the ghost arc, and actually, before I, actually, before I got to episode 15, I did watch 15, 16, 17, so I can't keep out just in case, and just from the endings that we had, we, actually, the ending credit seems basically this introduction to the Sarat Gaiden arc, the Naruto Gaiden Sar Sarada side story arc was going to be the first one, while an ending scene in episode 14 introduces to the movie villain. So we're going to get to read, so we're going to see a retelling of the movie recap of the Borto movie, somewhere on the line after the Gaiden story. But that's not something because that's all that coming very much down later on the line. So, again, overall, this episode was basically traditional filler. It was nice to see some fan dynamics between Choji and Chojo. Also, the father-son thing between Naruto and Boruto. And finally, there's I want to point out the fact that there's also a uh, queen of the Gal queen Galetni, basically a female citizen of the village, took on a whole bowl of ramen, and she said, "Wreck." Everyone wants to try to beat her. Wreck. Some children wants to beat her. Wreck. Everybody, but she couldn't. And so Boruto finds out like, who has the queen. Naruto was like, "Okay," uh, he was like. Go off of his and say, I don't want to say anything, but he finally sees it. It turns out Hinata is actually the queen gluttony. Who should have surprised the fact that she ate all that bowl of ramen, yet I was wondering, where did all that food go? She was a lot of working out in order to burn all those calories. I mean, that heavy bowl of ramen. In one sitting, by the way, she ate all that in one whole sitting. That's just amazing, and I'm pretty sure that Naruto just couldn't believe his eyes when he first saw that. They also, they, they also did it back to when like, Naruto took Hinata to on their first mission, they didn't even even actually rock good ramen. Boruto that was like really messed up because she was a ramen, but she got a little more better. But she didn't mind it at the time. Then again, Naruto didn't actually have enough money to go to an actual full fledged restaurant. This is a little tease to a little side manga story where Naruto and Hinata had the first date. So I found that the Boruto series kind of connects some of the stories from manga that wasn't anime yet, or couldn't even find I couldn't even find that story anywhere else. But that's better than Boruto series notified that. But now moving forward, we have the Serata side story, the Naruto Gaiden arc, which is basically the animation of the manga story. So that's until next week. So until then, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, share with a friend, and I'll see you all next time. Later's.